If you're infected by a superbug, doctors don't have any good options on the table. They can increase the dosage of the antibiotic so much that it becomes toxic for you and your kidneys and liver, or just hope your immune system can fight off the bug by itself. We hear about superbug versions of TB and Staph aureus and E. coli, and it's scary how common it's becoming all across the globe. For a bacteria to become resistant to the drug, it needs to acquire a gene that stops the activity of that drug. Penicillin was the first antibiotic discovered and mass produced by Fleming, Fleury, and Chain. And now there's a whole family of penicillins which share a specific chemical structure, the beta-lactam ring. We call them beta-lactam antibiotics for this reason. They make bacterial cell walls weak and prone to rupturing, which kills the bacteria. Some bacteria have acquired a gene that makes the protein that can break down beta-lactam antibiotics. These enzymes are called beta-lactamases. They bind to the beta-lactam ring and chop up the antibiotic, rendering it useless. 